You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you're done now. Your boy brutal, sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like on this video. Definitely help the channel out, because you know, boy, gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know, we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked, come to the comment section and type first, second, third, know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, before we get into the more serious topics, I gotta let y'all know there's a new event going on. In NBA 2K24 that is gonna span four days. I'm talking about starting from Friday all the way through Monday. Uh, it's called Rumble on the K. I think it was sponsored by Gatorade or something. And it's a 3v3 event. Now the rewards are looking pretty decent if you're not your boy Brute. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all if you're not me. Because I do the math, y'all. I'm sorry. I do the math. And I'm gonna show you all the schedule for the event so y'all could go and do it if y'all want. But the reason why I don't play 3v3 is because I don't get enough VC. That's a bar. That's the reason why I don't play 3v3 anymore, y'all. Because if I have to use boost for an event like this, right? Let's say I'm playing on my point guard. I need at least playmaking and shooting boost. Those are the two boosts I need. And I only get 400 VC per game. So right there and then, and that's when I win and play really exceptional. I'm averaging like 300 and something VC. So right there and then, I'm barely making anything. And now I need Gatorade on top of that. At least one Gatorade so I could get that extra bar. So right there and then, I'm playing at a loss. Which means I will be losing money the more games I play. So I'm going to be losing probably more than 25k. That's a bar. Oh, you're killing it right now. So that's why I don't play 3v3. That's why I don't even get incentivized to play events like this. Because it, it just doesn't make... Any sense, unless I go out there with my center and I don't need any boost to be competitive. All right, cool. But if I really want to go and try to get the top tier and try to win this event, it don't make any sense financially for your boy Brute. And to be honest, an event like this is looking like it's going to be a boost fest as well. This guy call it what it is. Because you see, they're offering you unlimited Gatorade. Once they drop an unlimited something, they're going to have boosters. Right? And they're 1.5 rep t shirt So once you wear it, you're going to get 1.5 on your rep. I mean, that's enough incentives to get these boosters out there. So you know it's going to be a boost fest. And it's perfectly set up as well. I don't think it's matchmaking. I think it's spots. So you got, got next spots from what I saw in the trailer. So um, let me know if this event going to get you all out there. Hate to be a negative Nancy. <laughs> okay. But... 2K, y'all got to start paying people more VC to go out there and play because for me, it makes no sense. I might as well go wreck and play that anyways. I'm going to be making more than whatever they're offering. So let me know your thoughts. Again, the list and the dates are up there so y'all could see it. Let me know if that's going to get y'all back onto 2K. But in my opinion, 3v3 is not as much fun just because it's song. It feels like I'm paying to play it now instead of I'm getting a profit for putting in time. But anyways, let's get into the more serious topics right here. Badge Plug brought this up on Twitter. He said, it's actually crazy how many creators are not talking about what's going on right now. He said, not trying to over exaggerate, but his opinion for creators is do you really want to be on the wrong side of gaming history? People will remember you said nothing. And then he followed up with saying this, if you wonder what he's talking about. Said 2K said our VC is fiction. And basically aren't real. But oddly enough, it shows up on my bank statements. <laughs> Seems pretty real to me. If it isn't real, then make VC free. How about that? And then, of course, he posts a quote where the lawyer, they're representing Take-Two Interactive, which is representing 2K because the people that is suing 2K, said VC is 
not plaintiff's property. Instead, in game VC are fictions created by game publishers subjected to the publisher's terms of service and user agreements. Remember, I did a video on this a few days ago, so he's not talking about your boy Brute. Now, even Joe Knows said he went over the article on stream the day it dropped. Very interesting, and he left it right there. Now, All City even chimed in as well. He said, should we be able to give fictional money for fictional VC? Because I'm worth over a billion dollars in fictional money. And then All City said something that I agree with right here. I think this is one of the biggest things we have to look at. He said, here's the thing. He said, I don't think most people are completely naive or ignorant to all these companies that have very similar TOS. Because if you go throughout the gaming community and check out these major companies, they all got the same TOS. He said, I think it's just have a stronger impact on us when it comes from 2K. I think a lot of us already feel finesse. This just adds another layer, and that's what I agree with 110%. I will say this. In terms of bad club, and people keep coming to my stream and saying, Brute, are you going to sign? Are you going to sign? Yes, I'm going to sign. Let me just clear this up. So stop asking me if I'm going to sign it. Yes, I'm going to sign it, and you're going to sign it too if you... You're going to sign too. All right? I know a lot of y'all going to claim you're not. You're going to sign too. I have stopped being that dude with the plaque marching up and down saying, don't do this, don't do that. Because I was one of the few people that used to do it back in the day. And still this, till this day, I think I'm blackballed because of it, right? I'm blackballed and that's something I had to own. And it is what it is, I don't care. Who cares, all right? I don't care that deep about it. But I know this. I was one of the few people when VC started being an issue, used to bring it up on a regular basis on my videos. One of the few people. Because I have to be honest with y'all, number one, I'm very cheap. <laughs> That's number one. I'm very cheap and very frugal with my money. So the moment I noticed that you had to start paying for someone, I'm like, well, what's going on here, bro? I, I mean, I start, 2K, you start watching my pockets a little bit too heavy, 2K. I don't play those games, right? Number two, I'm one of the people that play games. I'm a grindhead. So I like, when it comes to video games, I like the, the thought of me grinding to earn something, right? So I've always thought along the side of, buying your way to the top will eventually kill the value of said items. And look where we at now. Look where we at now. Ain't no one value none of the stuff we get from 1 to level 40. Ain't none of us. Because guess what? Everybody have it. A person could literally not play the game that much and buy their way and unlock everything. Or they could barely play the game and unlock everything. So it killed the value of all the items. So someone was right along the way. <laughs> so I had to accept a while ago that I'm in the minority to the point that it's not enough to push the needle at all. It's something I had to accept. And I'm okay with it. So guess what? Now I get on, I give you all the news, give you all the tutorials, give you all the tips to get better, and sprinkle my opinion here and there, and I go about living my life. It ain't that deep. It's 2K. <laughs> it's 2K. I get off and go live my life. I got more responsibilities now. got a kid. So when I hear people getting up in arms right now, I'm like, it's a little too late. It's a little too late. He's calling out the creators, and that's Badge. Badge is my guy. Badge is my guy. Trust me. We good. We're going to always be good. Either Whatever. We're going to always be good. He calling out creators, but it's not up to creators. It's up to the millions of people that play the game to say, I had enough, and I'm not going to take it anymore. The creators are a very small minority of the 2K community, whether we like it or not. And that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Am I going to sign the TOS? Yes. All of them got the same TOS. 
But I understand why the community was upset because 2K been forcing us to spend more money over the past few years, been getting greedier and greedier and greedier. And I've been warned the 2K community about it. But when I warned the 2K community, because I used to say things like, yo, I went, I got my MBA, I studied business, studied marketing, so I understand what they what this is gonna lead to. I understand how companies think. People used to be like, why are you always saying you have an MBA? Why are you always saying you got your master's? Why are you always say I'm like, bro, you're missing a point. I'm trying to warn y'all where this is going. Companies, when they see profit, they always think of ways to improve or increase their profit margin. It's not gonna stop, it never stops. It never stops. They start getting greedier and greedier and greedier, and that's good business. So after now we start feeling the pinch, I ain't gonna keep holding the plaque. Hell no, I'm good. I'm good. Now we're just victims of circumstances. It is what it is. I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this response, but I'm just being honest. Y'all could go back and look at the videos. I got videos talking about VC way back in 2K16, 17. When nobody was doing it, when it wasn't the cool thing to do. And you know what they used to call me? They used to say, you're brokey. <laughs> and they were probably right. <laughs> they were probably right because all my money back that was being spent on school. <laughs> but it's something I had to accept that I'm in the minority. So when you notice that you're in the minority and your voice doesn't have that much of an impact, like, all right, do y'all thing, I'm going to do my thing. But that's just me, man. But let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all know what is your voice in first time to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Have a blessed one. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace.